This is a capture race slash capture challenge for white. So these five white stones are trapped with only three liberties left. So white must try to capture some of black stones. Now the sequence matters a lot. If you Atari from behind first and cut here, this way white will fail because this is a two liberties versus three liberties situation and number three and five will be captured. So that is why cutting here first is very important. Black should still Atari this way. And now white can extend again. We'll throw in here. Either is fine. And when black plays here, white gets to play this throw in. Whereas in the first variation, white did not play this throw in. And this throw in makes a world of difference because it has effectively reduced black's liberties by one. Now if black connects, then white will be able to capture black like this. So the best black can do is to simply capture these two stones and allow white to capture these four black stones. So this is the correct sequence. Of course, after number one, white can come in here as well. If black captures, then white can still play this move. And these four black stones will be captured from behind. Once again, black cannot connect at number eight. It can only allow white to capture these four stones. Thus, the sequence here is really important. Cutting here first and throwing in here second. If you throw in here first, it also doesn't work because now if you cut, black can Atari from this side. Whereas if you cut here, black cannot Atari from this side because white will be able to succeed by escaping here. Overall, a very useful pattern that might actually come up in games. So you have to know the sequence here. If you're not careful and play the Atari first, this will be wrong. You have to cut here and play the throw in. Hope you find this helpful and I'll see you in the next challenge. Thank you for watching.